people say, oh, what do you do? And I say, oh, skincare. And they go, wow, that's a competitive space. And I'm like, yeah. And, and you know, they'll ask me, well, what's different about your line? I'm kind of blunt about it. I go, well, the shit works. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> Hey friends, welcome to Keep It Simple Sexy. I'm Christine Bullock, founder of KO Body Care, certified fitness trainer and mom of two little girls who's just trying to juggle it all and feel as good as possible. I'm so grateful that you're here. Now let's get started, sexy. Hello everyone, I'm Christine Bullock and welcome back to Keep It Simple Sexy. I'm total fangirling out today because of our special guest. When it comes to celebrity estheticians in Hollywood, Kate Somerville, that's who we have today. She is the OG. I've personally been a longtime fan of Kate and her products, like her legendary Exfolicate, which is like the longest standing product I have ever used, as well as her clinic on Melrose Place. Can't get any cuter than her clinic. Kate opened her first skincare, skin health clinic back in 2004 after working for one of the country's top cosmetic surgery offices. Women fell in love with the personalization Kate and her team provided, giving hope to those who couldn't find skin solutions anywhere else. We've all been there. Word quickly spread through the entertainment industry, and she became the go-to for the world's most famous and photographed faces. It was because one of these celebrities that her holy grail product, the Exfolicate Intensive, was born and evolved into her clinically perfected luxurious formulas sold worldwide. But there's a lot more to the woman behind this amazing brand. She's passionate about helping Others who, like her, came from humble beginnings, have faced unimaginable setbacks, and are determined to chase their dreams and defy impossible odds. Welcome to the show, Kate. Hi, Christine. Thanks Thanks for having me. Thank you for taking the time to be on the show. I'm so excited to, um, you know, break down and, and learn from you in the sense of skincare and health, but really also just dive into your background because... You are such a formidable soul and have um, just such an inspiration to women and men, whoever, just an inspiration (laughs) (laughs) and all that you've created and done and all the support you provide for other people too. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. It's been a journey. I mean, I'm, I feel, you know, I always tell this to people like, um, you know, I had eczema as a kid and really bad eczema actually. And, um, my mom ended up putting goat's milk in my bath one day and my skin started to heal. And I was like, wow, like certain products help. Right. And then, you know, um, fast forward, I got into skincare and I turned that negative into a positive And so I, and then, um, you and I were talking about this earlier before we started and, um, you know, I came from a background where my mom, unfortunately was an alcoholic and died homeless. And so I was kind of couch surfing from 15 on and now I got, I get to help foster kids. So it's like what I, what, what one thing I can say is, you know, turn, turn your negativities into positives, right? And mm-hmm. you, you never know what those negativities are going to bring to you. It's, it, it really brings you kind of compassion and, and because you can kind of relate to certain people. So um, that's, and, and two, I've just trusted my angels to, to say, okay, where do I go next? You know, so that's, that's kind of how I've been living my life. It really is. It's like a guide. And that's, what's so beautiful about you is that you've taken, you know, those experiences and instead of letting you've turned them and you've turned them into something that you can positively affect. We, my first daughter's actually adopted too. And so we work with, I didn't realize Mm. that too, tons of foster agencies and adoption agencies as well. And it just is so meaningful. I mean, to just start from the where we can truly really start to change the world, which is children and just giving yeah, them love. It's so sure. simple. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, we'll have to put yeah. some of your charities yeah. on there too. I'll have to get that for you too. We'll oh my gosh. Yeah. Yep. We'd lo- I'd love so, to talk to you about that too. 
Yeah. We, um, and, and help, I want to help. That's the thing that we're most passionate about in our, you know, household as well. Mm-hmm. So you've shared a little bit about your childhood and how that impacted you. Um, mm-hmm. Where, you know, from there, how did you get into skincare specifically? So, you know, it, it was such a journey. So I, I was in college at Fresno State. Um, and, I, you know, emotionally and mentally, I wasn't doing great. Um, you know, I had been, um, you know, ca- kind of living with my boyfriend, or living with friends, and um, just feeling really lost. And um, so I had a really good friend, she was a dermatologist, and <coughs> excuse me, and um, f- facials and they're helping me pre and post operatively because she was doing a lot of, you know, removal of cancers. And she's like, you should become an esthetician. And I'm like, wow, that actually sounds up my alley because I can really relate to people not feeling comfortable in their own skin. And so um, I decided to leave Fresno state and design. I was in for interior design, which is my first love, believe it or not. Like I, I really, I almost feel like I got clinics so I could decorate them. I was just (laughs) going to say, I can now see that knowing your (laughs) clinic. It's so beautiful. (laughs) Yeah. So, um, that is like that. I have to say gets me out of bed. I love design, but, um, (laughs) But so what ended up happening was I went back to aesthetic school and my best friend at the time that I was living with, um, she was putting together her like um, her senior project and she was a international business major. And she's like, I want to do your, your business as my, my, you know, last um, project. And so I was armed with this amazing business plan. And so I just went into my local doctor's offices and just said to them, I want to rent space from you. And I want to do facials and I'll get all your clients ready for and I went to plastic surgeons offices. And they didn't even know what an esthetician was at that time. So this is way before um, you know, anybody knew that this was going to be an actual career. And so they said, great. And I started and I was so lucky. I got into two offices, one a dermatologist and one a plastic and like the plastic surgeon brought me into the, the OR. I got to see everything. I got to then start um, doing all of his pre and post op. And then three years into my career, lasers came on the scene and lasers were really, really um, invasive. It was like a third degree burn. And so that's when (laughs) I started having to figure out how to put my own skincare line together. And um, just because a lot of the women couldn't tolerate what I was using in my office. And And then just fast forward, I ended up meeting my amazing husband of 20, God, what are we at now? I think it was 26 years, two days ago. (laughs) Happy anniversary. um, Yeah, thank you. (laughs) I love that you're even two days ago. You're like, I can't remember. (laughs) I don't remember either. I I just asked somebody too for my husband. Yeah. I'm like, (laughs) and it was, we met on our, my birthday and it's so funny because I forgot, like, I'm like, how old am I? <laughs> am I? And I'm 52. So um, you start <laughs> losing count after a while. Anyhow, yeah. but um, that's how it all started. And I met him and we moved to Hollywood. And I ended up, um, you know, creating an office for a really famous surgeon. And that's kind of where I got my start with Celebrity. And then um, 2004, I opened Kate Somerville on Melrose Place, and it just exploded because at the time, I was pretty much one of the only people that were taking like facials and products and marrying marrying them together with lasers, injectables, and um, really getting incredible results for clients. And that's what we do still today. So... Um, all my products are based out of the clinic and 
my 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 skincare lines worldwide now and um yeah so it's of course just, it it's is gonna, one of the most recognized skincare brands i think there is in the world oh thank you for that yeah of <laughs> um, course i mean we definitely have room to grow always but um the cool thing about the line and a lot of people like you know i used to fly a lot before covid and i'd be sitting in the seats and um People would say, oh, what do you do? And I say, oh, skincare. And they go, wow, that's a competitive space. And I'm like, yeah. And, he, and you know, they'll ask me, well, what's different about your line? And it's so I funny. Ask this all is the my time. line. Yeah. I know. And I, I'm kind of blunt about it. I go, well, the shit works. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, you know, and it's just know, basic. We it's do. Funny. Yeah, it just works. Close to the same thing, girl, for body. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, it just works. And so that's, um, that's kind of how, um, you know, because we're based in a clinic, you know, it's not like we're a marketing company, like we get to see our formulas work, if they're not going to work, how, how they, um, you know, work on our clients, and if our clients aren't liking it, or the smell, the slip. So they're really proven in my clinic. And so that's what makes us unique. And, and um, that's, and and I love to transform lives. Like that's my favorite thing to do. And it's so invaluable. I mean, you're really mixing all, all uh, kind of all three. I mean, that medical background, Mm -hmm. that medical experience Mm -hmm. that you had, one in the sense of taking skincare, Mm -hmm. but making sure it is effective because it had to affect like, post-surgery, all of that too. Mm -hmm. But seeing the changes that you see in a medical background, you're like, okay, I want skincare Mm -hmm. to work better than taking it in your clinic, working Mm -hmm. it with. And that is what I absolutely love about coming to the treatments in your clinic is that, and we'll Mm -hmm. get a little bit into your high tech machines too, but mixing that with a bit of high tech Mm -hmm. in with the skincare Mm -hmm. when you can come in and and see you, but then also just like your personal background, like you have a passion for helping people and making them feel better. Mm -hmm. And so Mm -hmm. you, you're getting a little bit of all of it. Um, mm-hmm. so let's talk a little bit. I was going to talk about goat milk cause you already brought it yeah. up, but let's first talk about your sure. exfoliate. Let's talk about your exfoliate okay. first, because it really was sure. like what launched for you, launched the brand and truly yeah. after doing some research too, I'm like, Oh my gosh, it truly is the product I have had the longest. So also for you to know, wow. so my mom was an esthetician and we were wow. doing like, you know, in our house and stuff when I was like 16, mm-hmm. she, she's worked for La Mer, Clarence, La Prairie. Mm-hmm. I worked for one of the first Sephora's in the United States. Okay. When wow. I was 20 plus years ago. So I've used everything. Yeah. The exfoliate is the longest standing product I've probably had since wow. around now. That's always in my cupboard. And it's my go-to for anybody like, you know, obviously just peeling, but even just a little bit of breakout, anything I'm like, you need this product. This yeah. is what you need. Yes. So yeah. But tell, tell us yeah, how it launched the whole brand and how you created well, it. Well, it's funny because people think that product kind of launched the brand, but there was mm-hmm. actually a product before that called Quench that mm-hmm. um, became really, really famous and um, kind of Jessica Alba and you know, Paris and that clan or that group of girls, they were coming to me and they were in the press all the time. Mm -hmm. So that one actually really exploded the brand. And then Exfolicate, I launched with that um, on QVC and it sold out like within minutes. And, you know, it's just one of those products that's so transformative in two minutes. Like literally I, if a new client comes in or I meet somebody, I'm like, here, try this. And then you're going to believe, right? <laughs> so, mm-hmm. um, and it can be popped into anybody's regimen. Like it, even if you're using anything else, it's still going to transform your skin. So um, I was, in the clinic, I was mixing for all my clients on the spot. And every single treatment that I would do, I'd always exfoliate before we did any lasers, any, any kind of facial. And because if you get rid of the top layer of dead skin, you instantly look fresh, right? You get rid of 
dry skin, you get rid of dull skin, it may, you know, dead skin cells kind of make your skin look older, right? And um, also, you were saying, what a waste of of skincare too, if you're just putting your exactly. expensive skincare on there. Yeah, exactly. So what I do is I do a cleanse, a steam, and then I would do a, like a, a scrub. So I w- it would depend on their skin type. So I'd put a different bead in each time and then I'd rinse that off. And then I would paint this amazing enzyme mask that had like papaya, pineapple, pumpkin enzymes. And what that does is it dissolves the dead layer of skin. And then it has a little bit of lactic, a little bit of salicylic acid. It has chlorophyll, which chlorophyll is super detoxifying for the skin. And then it has some rosewood oil that really hydrates the skin and a little bit of cinnamon. And the cinnamon gives you kind of this flush because I, I want the skin to kind of re-nourish itself Mm -hmm. and so so basically um I would paint that on leave that on for two minutes and then rinse well I had a really famous client come in and she was getting ready for a movie and I I she's like can I take something Kate and um with me on my movie set because I'm going to be gone for four months and so I just dumped the beads in the mask And I'm like, scrub this on in your shower, leave it on two minutes and rinse. And two weeks later, she called me and she's, she's like, Oh, my God, Kate, you have to make this product and you have to call it Kate in a jar because you're with me. (laughs) And so the first rendition of exfoliate, believe it or not, was called Kate in a jar. And then um, we kind of got into some, you know, trademark issues with that. And so um, quickly we renamed it exfoliate, which was super cute. And so even better, um, it's honestly even better. Yeah, mm-hmm, exactly. <laughs> and so, um, that's how exfoliate and really honestly, Christine, all of my products have come out of a necessity in my clinic. Like there's like every story of each product, there's a, there's a story and, and how it came to be. Um, we have something called dermal quench that was like a my number one treatment in the clinic and we were able to bottle it. And there's just so many stories. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, like that, but, but exfoliate now is our, I think it's number one or two in the world for exfoliators. Um, it's won every award, um, just because when you use it, it just transforms your skin. Um, and does it, it does it still have the chlorophyll and cinnamon? Does it still have the chlorophyll yes. and cinnamon? That's what mm-hmm. makes the green and that's what makes the red. It's beautiful. Yeah. I, I've never done a deep dive. I've just kind of like trusted it, but that's beautiful. Yeah. I mean, bringing blood flow and oxygen to the skin mm-hmm. to re-nourish the chlorophyll, yes. which is very yep. soothing too. So how often yes. do you recommend general exfoliation mm-hmm. or exfoliation with um, exfoliate with, for your so consumer? So twice a week. And, and most okay. of my clients, are not exfoliating enough, or if they are, they're doing it improperly, right? They're mm-hmm. using mm-hmm. just a scrub, or they're not doing the physical and chemical because mm-hmm. the physical only roughs up the dead layers of skin. The chemical part of it dissolves it. So that's why exfoliate works, right? It's yeah. because you're getting both in one. And so mm-hmm. if you use it, you'll notice like literally in two minutes, you'll have that that glow again, that shine, you know, like you have it yeah. right now, Christine, it's just like this really glassy, smooth, textured skin. Yeah. And if you're using, I feel like uh, a retinol, like if I have dry little skin or anything mm-hmm. like that, I'm going yeah. through it. I mean, it literally is the only thing that just exactly what you're saying. It feels like yeah. it's completely refreshed the entire flush, refreshed the t- entire yeah. layer where some you're like, yeah. I can still see it. I look even more dry. Like we yeah. just do a lactic. The Keep It Simple Sexy podcast is brought to you by KO Body Care. So tell me if this sounds familiar. You have a ton of high-end serums and creams for your face but nothing of the same quality for the skin on your body. And that's where my company, KO Body Care, comes in. Our skincare products are made with the same powerful, transformative ingredients as luxury facial products, but they're formulated just for the skin on your body. The same goes for our supplements. We use only the highest quality, clean, plant-based ingredients that help your skin glow from the inside out. 
My two current firming must-haves are our concentrated firming serum. It's our award-winning total body serum to firm, tone, and deeply hydrate topically. I love to add it with our Skin Perfect Next Gen Collagen. It is so much more than just a marine-based collagen. It also has hyaluronic acid, phytoceramides, trace minerals, antioxidants to protect your skin, boost your collagen elastin, and help your skin glow from the inside out. If you're wanting to learn more about KO Body Care supplements and skincare, head to kobodycare.com and use KISS20 for 20% off your first purchase. You just launched your body product, which yeah. as a body girl, yeah. I'm so thrilled about and I love it. I've tried that yeah. too. Uh, mm-hmm. Must have. Love. Yeah. How often Same do you concept. recommend the body? The body skin is a you little know, thicker, so that's, that's a dermis. Yeah, it's different. Yeah, so you you can do that one up to three times a week. Um, and, and it depends on you, right? If you have KP back here, you know, leave it on. It says leave on three minutes, but you can leave it on up to five minutes. If you have mm-hmm. really dry feet, take it with you to your pedicure place. I swear it is so amazing for just dry, dry skin. And, um, but it's the same concept though, because a lot of, a lot of people are using it as a scrub and just rinsing it off and they're rinsing Mm -hmm. off like the best part of it. Like you want to leave it on three minutes. So kind of dance around your shower, (laughs) you know, um, do a hair mask. Let's say do the shampoo and conditioner. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. But, um, you will see just just like exfoliate for the face. It's, and, and exfoliate for the body is much stronger. So I do recommend not using it on the face. Um, I made that mistake and, um, Woo, not, not, not a good thing to do. So <laughs> keep it on the body. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I love it too. Like my knees, my forearms, the places that have got more sun mm-hmm. where I'm starting to see fine lines to really start to boost yeah. that renewal, take off the yeah. dead layers, apply the great skincare afterwards and, and yeah. get some, finally get some results too. Very easily, very yeah. naturally. So they can do at home. Yeah, um, what sure. are the top issues that you see in skin or has it evolved over, you know, the years? You know, everyone is so personal, right? So like mm-hmm. what you need and what I need are so different. And even if we're the same age, there's things that are different about our skin. Like one person can be sensitive. One person can be oily and not so sensitive. So we kind of take each case and we build them a regimen, but that regimen, and this is, this is how I keep it really simple at my clinic. So we have something called the five daily dues. Okay. Okay. So this is something that is going to keep your skin looking great for years and years and years. And if you already have great skin, it's going to keep your skin looking great. If you have problems, this is going to set you back into balance. So number one is a cleanser, right? So we mm-hmm. all know, okay, a cleanser, a cleanser is a cleanser, but, but you need to type your skin. So if you're oily, you can use things that um, may have sal acid or make sure your ingredients match what you need. Like for me, I'm super, super dry because of eczema. And I'm also 52. So I'm going through menopause. So I do things that are sulfate free. I have something called goat's milk cleanser. That's that one really I love. Keeps- that's how I use it. I, I know. That yeah. So that's beautiful. My favorite. And your skin is so soft afterwards. Mm-hmm. Undry too. Like a combo. And dry. it takes, yeah. And it takes all your makeup off. That's what mm-hmm. I love. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, gently. Mm-hmm. Um, so great cleanser for your skin type. Second step is exfoliation, right? So I really recommend exfoliate. We have a liquid version of it too. So if you're extremely sensitive and you don't like scrubs or you have rosacea, we have a liquid version called exfoliate liquid. Um, And so I want people to do that at least twice a week. And then the third step is hydration. And this is probably the biggest step my clients miss because hydration is really hyaluronic acid locking it into the skin. So it's why I swear at 52, my skin looks the way it does. 
is because I have been using hyaluronic acid at a tiny, tiny molecule size. So it really penetrates. So I, I tell my clients, listen, if you had a piece of leather and you let it dry out and you moved it, what happens to the piece of leather? That's going to like crunch and break and ugh, fall it's apart. Crack, right? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And so if we're daily hydrating at a really deep level, and we have something called dermal quench that I created, it's the smallest molecule of hyaluronic acid, and it goes really deep into the skin. And so when you're moving your face, right, your skin is going to bounce back, it's not going to crack, like if it's too dehydrated. So I really recommend a serum that has a high level of hyaluronic acid and a really small molecule that and that really matters. This is where science matters. And then the third, the fourth step, this is so easy, is your moisturizer. So, so far you have four steps, cleanse, exfoliate, and exfoliate or exfoliation is only a couple times a week. And then you have your hydration step morning and night. And then you have your moisturizer. And your moisturizer is where you can really treat certain issues. So for instance, at night, because I'm in my 50s, and I've had a lot of sun in my life, I use vitamin C and retinol moisturizer, right? We have mm -hmm. a retinol and vitamin C moisturizer together. And then in the day, I use this, this is my favorite holy grail product. It's called um, peptide Kate. Mm -hmm. And it has all these peptides, it has baba seed oil, it literally, it's clinically proven to reduce redness. It is probably the biggest collagen and wrinkle. Like, it just really fights fine lines and wrinkles and sagging mm -hmm. of the skin. Yeah. Um, I love peptides. So like, I was just going to say, peptides, mm -hmm. count me in. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And, and they're gentle, right? So mm -hmm. those of the listeners that really, if they're younger and they want to start anti-aging, I started peptides at probably like 26. Like if you are going to keep your skin looking great, start peptides. Like retinols and vitamin Cs can come later, um, but peptides should start early. And so that's where your moisturizer kind of seals everything in. And then last but not least is your sunscreen. So making sure on a daily basis, especially if you're going to be out, you know, just throw on a sunscreen. We have a mineral, like a, an all zinc one that is awesome. So you're not getting all those chemicals daily. Thank you. And then we yes. have, yeah. <laughs> and then we have a spray um, that sets your makeup so you can reapply. So um, those are the five steps. So cleanse, exfoliate, hydrate, moisturize. So I know that sounds confusing, but hydration is keeping the water in the cell. And then the moisturization is kind of lipids. It's sealing in everything. And that's where you can really look for ingredients for your skin type. And then you obviously give that shield <laughs> from lock it in even more too with, with a mineral mm -hmm. yeah 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 with your sunscreen and if you if you break out um because sunscreen for me for years was an issue um but as soon as I came out with my all mineral because it's all zinc zinc is so good for breakout so um it's just you know if you do those five steps you're gonna have awesome skin throughout your life I love that. That's such a good tip. I mean, for years to the sunscreen, I had to avoid it because I would immediately get cystic acne from it. Probably yeah. though, yeah. maybe it was the mixture of a chemical or it was all chemical back mm -hmm. then 20 years ago. Yeah. Sure. Um, but I love that zinc and it is so yeah. reparative for your skin. And, mm -hmm. you know, I think too, if you have like skin that can be sensitive or inflamed in the sense of acne, rosacea, redness, broken capillaries mm -hmm. to put on the chemical sunscreen, it's going to inflame, it can and probably mm -hmm. will inflame it a bit more. So yeah. it's great that you have that full mineral block and the spray is great. I need to actually grab that mm -hmm. because that's one of my biggest, um, problems in skincare is just reapplying the sunscreen after I apply in the morning. And I'm I out know. with these kids all day long. So I know. I hear it from moms and all Christine, the time. And you're, you're yeah. in Manhattan Beach. So you're probably, mm -hmm. you guys are going to the beach. You're on the little boardwalk. You're in the sun a lot. Yep. That, that was we my life. Everywhere. Yeah. 
So I just the amount of sun that I've had in my life, I like I should look like a little raisin. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. And I love it too. So, <laughs> you know, well, let's talk peptides just for a second too, because I love that you dove into that. What mm-hmm. are the benefits of yeah. peptides? And why should we start when we're 20, 26 with peptides? Yeah. So I've read so many studies about peptides and I was one of the first to really focus on peptides. And it's so funny because now all you're seeing bigger brands focus on peptides where this is like old news for me, (laughs) but um, (laughs) peptides are clinically proven to keep collagen stimulated. It they're also super gentle, like so and and they're super healing too. we have certain peptides that we use in our line that help with inflammation, help with brown spots, help with redness. Um, so there's there's a lot of different peptides that you can use. Um, and then when you combine them, they can really um, repair. And so What I love about them is they don't make you sun sensitive. If you're like me, I have really sensitive skin. I have eczema. So it almost helps me repair my skin while I'm having incredible um, anti-aging effects. So, Mm -hmm. you know, with retinols and vitamin C's, there's side effects, right? Like vitamin C, I can only use maybe three four times a week, because, you know, it's just strong, but it really helps, you know, it's active, right? And same with retinol, and and Mm -hmm. same with niacin, and all these and niacinamide, and, you know, those are a bit more active, where peptides, like you can just go to it every time, and it's going to literally do what you want it to do without irritation or downtime. And, And, it's preserved my skin for so many years and, you know, it's really roll like, it down your neck. Yeah. It's almost like in fitness. Cause I compare this to our viewers all the time too, where I say, mm-hmm. you know, we don't want to do, you really have to balance it. Like it would be like, yes, we need our actives. High intensity is great. You know, mm-hmm. a nice hot yoga class, all those things are a, a long run, whatever it is. Intensity is fun, a really good sweaty dance class. But at the same time, we can't do that all the time. We really, Mm -hmm. especially in today's society, and it means the same thing for our skin because we have more stressors for our skin, need the meditation. We need the yoga. We need that. And that's kind of like the soothing part of it, the peptides, the HA, the lipid hydration. So we want to focus. That's always there with a little bit of the others to keep our... That is such a skin figure looking nice. (laughs) Mm -hmm. You know, know, it's funny because I, I call peptides like the insurance. (laughs) I go financial. I'm like, I call insurance policy. So like literally if you're in your twenties and you have great skin and you're like, I want to keep this skin looking good. It's like, you're buying that insurance policy every time you put on, right. It's like, yeah. okay, I'm going to fight those free radicals. I'm going to keep the collagen stimulated. I'm going to calm. I'm going to feed. It's just like, it's the insurance that later in life, you're not going to have, you know, the issues or you're not going to look as age because you've been feeding the skin the right vitamins, right? Or the right things to keep you looking great. I love it. Okay, so those are your essentials. Five, those are the five daily do's. Five daily do's, yeah. Cleanse, exfoliation, two times a week. Hydration with your HA. I love the dermal quench too. Moisturize. Mm -hmm. So that's your treatment. Hopefully everybody Mm -hmm. has the peptide tape, but something with peptides in Mm -hmm. it with lipids. And then obviously like a, 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 a mineral sunscreen afterwards too. If you're in need of a skin transformation, the Kate Somerville team is here to help. You'll love the visible results you experience when you put your skin in the hands of an expert. I know I do every time I stop by or use her skincare line. Kate and her team have protocols for every age, ethnicity, skin type, and skin condition, giving hope to those who haven't found solutions anywhere else and trusted by the world's most photographed faces. Whether you visit Kate's team in the clinic or use her prestige products at home, everything she creates is independently tested, rigorously vetted, and perfected in the clinic to deliver on promise of visible results with no downtime. 
They're being so generous today, and we're inviting all listeners to enjoy 20% off your first order of products at katesomerville.com with the code KISS20. That's K-I-S-S-20 at katesomerville.com. And for listeners in the LA area, enjoy 20% off your first facial at the Kate Somerville Skin Health Experts Clinic on Melrose Place with the code KISS20. That's K-I-S-S-20. To book, call 323-655-7546 or you can go to katesomerville.com. I highly recommend they take such wonderful care of your skin. On top of it, you've been known for your bringing the high tech. You're one of the first people to Mm -hmm. do this within a clinic as well. And just in lasers in general. Mm -hmm. And I think I love the fact that you mentioned it was, they were so strong before. And even Mm -hmm. maybe eight years ago, I mean, it was still so almost all of them were still so, so strong and you had to have a lot of downtime. And sometimes we would see these after effects of things that you've done and then it causes other things. So I love when you go into your clinic, it's always a customized treatment that, Mm -hmm. you know, your estheticians, your specialists, they look at the skin first to see what you need. But you guys not only mix the skincare, but you mix the high tech. I want to know yeah. what, but your high tech too, it doesn't cause these like long term mm-hmm. downtime. Like I can walk mm-hmm. right out and my skin is glowing. Mm-hmm. And I think that mm-hmm. doing less is more, you know what yep. I mean? And so, especially in yeah. the tech. So tell us all about that. What can we, what do we need to look for? What can we do? Because yeah, I've seen. Some, yeah. So, ooh, yeah, I've seen some a lot too, <laughs> a lot. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, you know, it used to be really harsh, right? And you know, we still have some lasers that require a little downtime, depending on what you want to achieve. Yeah. But now technology. So about three years into my career, it was the harsh, crazy stuff. Like that was like literally twenty. 25 years ago. And then when I opened Kate Somerville in 2004, the lasers, the laser companies have learned a lot, right? They figured out, oh my gosh, these lasers are stimulating collagen. It's lifting. It's like a facelift. You know, you can do three treatments and you can get, you know, lifting. And I mean, it's incredible what we can do with light and laser um, now. And so, and the cool thing about it is they figured out a way to um, actually create that result without downtime. And so that's really what catapulted my clinic is because as soon as the laser companies were able to um, create these incredible results, um, kind of internally in the skin is when my clinic really, really shot up because I was was dealing with topical stuff, right? So with products and, um, you know, different kinds of facials. But as soon as I added in those lasers and lights, everything changed for my clinic. So um, if somebody had acne um, early, early on, like almost probably like 18 years ago, I found LED lights, red, blue, amber, And these are now really mainstream. Um, They weren't mainstream when I found them. Um, But if you have acne, um, the blue and red light can cure your acne without drugs, you know, and you know, I see a ton of kids and a ton of my age group that are having, you know, any kind of like cystic acne or especially kids going through hormones and their parents don't want to put them on Accutane because Accutane you know, is a really strong drug. And yeah, I was it, on it. And know, it is, it is, it definitely it's, it's did tough. a lot to my digestive system too, in the long run. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and, you know, mentally too, they, they've found that, you know, especially in boys, you got to be careful because it can actually cause a bit of depression, you know, that the jury's still out on that, but um, it did it to me anyhow. too. I mean, I had to be on a half a dose because I yeah. full dose. I started yeah. crying and I, but I was like smart enough yeah. to say like, I know I'm crying, but I can't uh, stop. But I don't even know why. Yeah. They're like, this why? Is yeah. Like, well, it's strong, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah. We can avoid no, it. Let's, alter- right. Yeah. Yeah. 
there's alternatives. And, you know, before LED lights, I could tell my client, okay, I can get you like 70% clear through topicals, like Mm -hmm. retinols and, you know, those things and salicylic acid and BPO, but there's all side effects with all that stuff. But the lights, they are incredible. So blue and red light, I really recommend. Um, And then I love there's this this treatment in my clinic called laser genesis. And yeah, that's the one. I love uh, that one. It's my favorite. And you know, it's so funny, because laser genesis is like 15 years old. And it's still my go to, we call it the magic polisher at our clinic, because it, it really helps with rosacea. If not, it kind of cures rosacea. Honestly, it helps with poor size. It helps with fine lines and wrinkles, like literally crow's feet. I, I can watch them disappear in a series wow. of it. It just is kind of, if you have lip lines or, you know, it's just the, I call it the polisher. And then there's other lasers that we just got in. We got in something called the Moxie which Mm -hmm. in all my years, Christine, like I've been doing this almost, I'm at 28 years. So this treatment is so remarkable and it hits four different levels in the skin and four different issues. So if you have brown spots or melasma, um, it gets, it really gets rid of melasma and brown spots as That's you me. do it. I'll be in after I'm pregnant, yep. after okay. I get this birth, this baby. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. And then it has a modality where we turn the dial and then it lifts the skin, which it's tightening the skin through heat. And then it has something that helps with redness. So if you have broken capillaries, And then we turn the dial and that's when we can kind of do resurfacing, which Mm -hmm. um, I love because you get all kinds of benefits. You get rid of brown spots, you get rid of fine lines and wrinkles. You can just, after one treatment, it's so remarkable. And if you have a series, um, Stanford actually did a uh, study on this on the moxie. And I really if you're really into skincare, um, I I recommend you, you Google moxie and Stanford study, they're showing that it really stops a lot of the aging process in the skin. And it really helps the aging process. And your skin just gets better and better and better. So I'm super excited about that. It's, it's, it's booked in our clinic all the time. It's what we're using for most of my clients now. And the cool thing is it takes about 20 minutes and the downtime really depends on what you're trying to achieve. So it can be up to one day and like kind of no downtime, or you can go a little stronger and, you know, have about a five day, not even downtime. It's just, you kind of look a little red and flaky for five days. And can you, do you ever do like all four of those dials that you were talking about mm-hmm. in one treatment? Oh, wow. Yeah. One treatment. Amazing. It's so And that's why you get such a result, Christine. And it's not like you're, you know, like um, the lasers before were so ablative and so crazy. Even you still got great results from it, but the downtime was so not worth it. And where Mm -hmm. this, you just do a few of them and you don't have that kind of downtime, but you have that result. It's, Mm -hmm. it's crazy. So we do a lot of that. We do a lot of the threads, right? Um, for neck lifting and you oh, know, amazing. giving yeah. that jawline. And then we Just also... Just so you guys know, everybody in LA is doing threads at this point. It's like yeah. what I hear nonstop from all the top makeup artists, hair, yeah. anybody that's yeah. on it. I've even heard of 20-year-olds at this point. I mean, I'm not recommending uh, that, But oh, it is yeah, really I going on that. here. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. And really then we here. do a lot of injectables. I have mm-hmm. literally one of the most skilled um, professional um, injectable um, specialists in my clinic that have been working with me for over – we're going on 18 years. That's, and that's a lot. They've yeah. studied with the top 
companies and they give this natural, beautiful look. Um, so our whole philosophy is we want you to look like you. We don't want you to look too plumped or too crazy because we deal with a lot of actors and actors, they want to look natural. They want to look like themselves and, you know, their face still has to move when they're talking. Yeah. And so we are really known for, um, just keeping you looking like you, but just fresh, you know, we're not going to like give the huge lips and the huge cheeks and the, you know, so, um, and if you want that look, I know many people that give that look, <laughs> but, um, mm -hmm. and I can send you there, but the clinic is really to just keep you looking beautiful and fresh. Yeah, I love that. And if you guys are in the LA area too, you can enjoy 20% off your first facial at Kate Somerville Skin. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, with the code KISS20. So K I S S 20. Uh, we'll do the phone number and the website towards the end of it, but just so you guys know going in. I mean, I'm I'm coming in for a facial anyway, but I can't wait for the lasers once this baby. Yeah. I'm giving birth to this baby, but we'll give you a little time, baby. Yeah. I'm so what? excited. On, on that, Christine, I don't mean to derail you, but can we talk about Foster Nation really quick? Oh, yes, please. please. I would, let's okay, do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So I, this is kind of my personal story. So I grew up, um, two parents, both teachers. My mom um, became a, um, unfortunately, a severe alcoholic, um, and left my dad and me when I was nine. And then um, I would go see her on weekends, which was totally tumultuous. And she was in and out of my life, my whole life. And then my dad remarried, and I kind of lost my place, right. And so at 15, I left home, and I started living with friends. And um, so I kind of know what it's like to not have a normal childhood and live in chaos. And so um, about a year and a half ago, two years ago, I was introduced to a woman named Maggie. And Maggie started a foundation called Foster Nation. And Maggie also so her story, please Google Foster Nation and Kate Somerville, because we're doing awesome things. We're donating $100,000 a year. We're giving five scholarships to foster kids aging out of the system. And what I didn't know, um, so Maggie was also a foster kid and her dad had passed away when she was really when she was one um she lived in taiwan she came over with her grandmother and there was abuse in the family her and her sister and she was placed into foster care she went through eight homes her sister went through 11 they were separated and at 18 you're given a bag a, literally a plastic bag because the state is saying, okay, you're on your own. We're done. We, we paid for you to be in hopefully a, a, a healthy home. A lot of times, not a healthy home. Some of these kids have moved 50 times. And so they're given a list of shelters, a bag with their stuff, and they are literally shoved out of the house. And so some of these kids are making it through to college. Some of them, 50% of them become homeless um, or go into um, the jail system. I was going to say, it's so, like the numbers are like 80%. It's a, in the 80s of people go in our jails are from foster care at one point of their life. Yeah. And for yep. girls too, for women who are working the streets to say, you know, don't have a better job. Again, 80% have been in foster care because it, yep. they're just yep. dumped. We're not supporting yep. any of their needs in so many ways. It's so sad. And this is in your backyard, you guys. Like yeah. this is yeah. a problem right in your backyard. And so yeah. we are so excited because for me, I know what it's like to not have stability. I, obviously, some of these poor kids are, you know, their stories are so amazing. But um, what I want to do is say, listen, you can create a life. You're 18 now. You 
you can do this. You can choose the right path and you can have a successful life. And we're there to support you and mentor you. So Kate Somerville, our team is mentoring a bunch of kids. If you're interested in mentoring, um, you can go to fosternation.com. And um, the coolest thing, um, exfolicate. So this month is foster care awareness month. Perfect. And, um, yeah. Maggie. Yeah, Maggie, we got Maggie. She's going on the Today Show to get more awareness. And exfolicate, if you go to Sephora or any um, Nordstrom's, you're going to see a piece of artwork on exfolicate box. And some proceeds are going to Foster Nation through the sale of exfolicate. And what we did was we had these kids, these foster kids, Hmm. come and do artwork and say, what, what is it to defy the impossible? And so we chose this one piece of artwork. And um, the artwork, all of the artwork was amazing. So we're going to display that um, also. And um, so, you know, not only <laughs> does Kate Somerville, the, the brand, you know, we're, we're really committed to this. This is not a campaign. This is a commitment over years and years. And we're just super excited. And we've, we've already um, have three kids already going to beauty school. And we're um, supporting that. It's just, it's just awesome full circle stuff. This is utterly amazing. I'm so glad. And it is, it is foster care month. So how perfect is that too? But it's amazing that again, once again, you know, we talked about the beginning, just turning those, having that time and the dedication, because everything that you've done has led to this to, to truly be able to support in even a bigger way and make the awareness for foster care for foster kiddos, um, yep. which is, you know, what kind of what you experienced as well. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing yeah. guys. So fosternation.com, go to mm -hmm. it. You're going to get, I think it's dot .org. Anyway, better, you know, okay. Yeah. Dot .org, Foster Nation. We'll just Google Foster Nation and yes, Kate too. Foster I'm sure Nation, it'll come up. Google it. <laughs> and um, I've heard of it actually before too. I kind of wonder too, okay. if you guys work with Vista Del Mar here in Los Angeles, I'll have to find out because they have a major mm, foster okay. care there as well. School, school for the underprivileged yeah. where we go and stuff like that too. But I would yeah. love to get involved. So I'm going to check it out. Purchase my uh, summer exfoliate too from Sephora yes. Nordstrom's with a beautiful piece of art. We got it here. If you're watching our YouTube, oh yeah, I was right. It's orange. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Rachel. And that's it's just so beautiful. I mean, these kids definitely need your support. And even if you're just thinking about your community and the support of your own children by nurturing the people around us, it's going to be that much more beautiful for your own kiddos, too. Um, mm -hmm. So I'd love to help and, and mentor, too. It's something I have a huge passion for. So changing the world, awesome. changing the skin, yep. making us feel good, making everybody else feel good. Thank you so much, Kate, for sharing yeah. your amazing story with us. As I said, I was uh, always a fangirl in the sense of understanding your business, you know, your skincare and all of that. But just you are such an inspiration from top to bottom, inside out for for everybody out there. And, and um, you too, you know, you too. <laughs> and supporting others along that journey too, and building other people up along the way as well. Thank so cool. You. Thank you, Christine. Thank you. It was such an honor to do this. And we're super excited. We're carrying your line in the clinic, too. So very exciting. You. Thank you so much. Yeah, we love working with your team. Anybody as well, yeah. we invite all our listeners to enjoy 20% off your first order of products at katesummerville.com with the code KISS. 20 dot, uh, kiss 20 is the code K I S S 20. But also, as I mentioned, for anybody that lives in LA, I know a lot of you guys are listening, Orange County, San Diego, you got to come up and enjoy 20 for 20% off your first facial at the Kate Somerville skin uh, health experts clinic on Melrose place with the code kiss 20. I'm going to give you a phone number. So Take this down. Here you go. It's 323-655-7546. Or just go to katesummerville.com and you'll see a little link for the clinic there as well. <laughs> I should have told you that first. 
Thank you, everybody, for tuning in today. Um, leave your questions, your comments for Kate, and make sure you subscribe. And you know that all your ladies want to hear this app, so pass it along. Have questions you need answered? Text me at 1-310-361-8697. Make sure you're following me on social at Christine Bullock, and have a healthy, happy week.